Hi everyone, it's Rachel Brown, your Santa Barbara Real Estate Resource. Uh, today we're going to talk about some of the um, remodeling features. I know a lot of you are at home, you're kind of thinking about renovating or you're already getting the process started, um, and you want to know a couple of tips of what's going to pay off in the long run and what's good for resale, especially right now, um, if you're looking to sell in the next year or so. Um, so first off, kitchens and bathrooms. Those are always a great remodel idea. People want to be in a new and modern space. Um, you know, I think kitchens and bathrooms are oftentimes the hardest undertaking because there is plumbing involved. And, um, you know, typically it's a lot easier to, to paint a living room wall than it is to redo a kitchen. So I think those are um, off the right off the bat, kind of always, you know, pandemic or no pandemic, those are always features that are going to sell if you go ahead and upgrade those because it's just, uh, people see that and they think new and they think less work. And so you'll get a higher price when, when that happens. Um, so the other thing that's really common these days is a powder bath. If it's close to your entrance, um, especially now, uh, that's even better. Uh, people want their guests to be able to walk in and you know, wash their hands as soon as they get in, and and maybe not be using the same space as they're using, um, you know, as a private bathroom. So, a uh, powder room is a big plus these days. Um, some kind of bonus room. Um, this could be, you know, maybe you set it up as an office or a Zoom room for your kids or your um, your work or something like that. Maybe it's a home gym. We're all having to spend so much time in our homes these days that if you have that extra room that's maybe not a bedroom or you take like kind of a, a bonus room or something like that and convert it into something where it could keep you at home so you don't have to go out, you could do whatever you need to do and not leave your house, that's gonna be a huge upgrade. Um, so the, uh, the last thing I'm gonna talk about as a bonus and then I'll kind of tell you also what to shy away from is your backyard space. Um, a lot of single family homes, they are flying off the shelves and reason being is that while we are kind of confined to our homes, we want a little bit of outdoor space as well. So, um, you know, put some money into your landscaping, a hot tub, a hot tub is huge these days. They're even kind of difficult to get a hold of. Um, so if you can customize and make a backyard more like a sanctuary and somewhere where you're going to want to spend a lot of time because most likely you're going to be spending a lot more time there um, that's kind of a feature that people are are really looking for these days um, you know it's nice to have a blank slate but at the same time if somebody can walk into a backyard and not picture what it's supposed to be they can just picture it how it is and move right in that's going to get you a whole lot of bang for your buck um, things to shy away from anything that's uh, highly personal or customized to you and your tastes. You know, um, you might think a red accent wall is a great idea. It might be for, you know, you, but it, the next person and most people are most likely not gonna like something like that. Um, there are certain upgrades, unless you're a builder, um, if you're just doing your own home, I, I wouldn't necessarily do smart upgrades. Again, if it's for your own convenience, go ahead and do them. But if you're thinking that it's gonna pay off in the long run, not every buyer is necessarily looking for that smart upgrade. I know, you know, my parents, for instance, they are terrible with technology, so they don't want the hassle of that, they just kinda want the old fashioned stuff. So, but if people do want that, then they can move in and do that themselves as well. Um, lastly, I would say, you know, going back to that backyard space, anything that's really personalized, like maybe you put a bocce ball cart, court in there or something, um, I would maybe kind of shy away from that sort of stuff um, because it's something that you might enjoy. However, the next person is going to have to rip that out. So think about these things when you're keeping your remodel in mind. I know a lot of you are kind of spending a lot of time on that now, especially since we're home so much. So. Um, if you have any questions, I'm always happy to help. If you're thinking about remodeling, I'm gonna tag a few builders and, and contractors in this, and um, they can always be a great resource for you um, if you're thinking of making some changes. And have a great day.